Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and they're gonna be doing a DDD deck profile. So I'm really excited for you guys because this deck is an absolutely insane combo deck that uses every single summoning mechanic in the game except ritual summoning. This deck can make some incredible boards, and I'm really excited to show you guys my build. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name in every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to a patron. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of DD Griffin. This card is a great three of in the deck that has a really awesome monster effect that if you control a DD monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense system, which is an awesome effect to just have this card as an extender. And it also has the ability that if this card is pendulum summoned, then you can discard a DD or dark contract card to draw a card. And if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, then you can add a DD card from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card which is absolutely insane this card is a definite three of in the deck we then play three copies of dd copernicus copernicus is a really good three of in the deck that's basically a foolish burial if it's normal or special summon for any dd or dark contract card which is a really good effect to just send one of those cards to the graveyard like your copy of swirl slime or necro slime so you can get some really powerful effects and then play three copies of dd kepler kepler is the searcher of the deck that has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon you can activate one of these effects to target one other dd card that you control and bounce it back to the hand or add a dark contract card from your deck to your hand which is an awesome effect to be able to grab your copy of dark contract with a gate which will give you a search of a dd card i then play three copies of ddd vice king requiem this card is a really awesome two of in the deck i I really love this card because it has an awesome effect that you cannot special summon monsters except for DDD monsters and a DDD monster that was fusion, synchro, or XZ summon or even link summon using this card on the field gains the following effect that once per turn you can target one card on the field and shuffle a dark contract card from your field or graveyard back in the deck and if you do destroy that card then gain a thousand life points which is a really awesome effect it also has a pretty neat pendulum effect that you can target any number of dark contract cards that you control and destroy them and if you do special summon this card from your pendulum zone then you can increase or decrease this monster's level by the number of cards destroyed which is a really awesome effect to get the exact level you need so you can go in for synchro plays even going in for a z plays with this card and then play a single copy of DD Cerberus. DD Cerberus is just a good one of in the deck. It has the ability that when this card is pendulum summoned from your hand, while you control a DD monster other than DD Cerberus, you can target one continuous spell in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. So you can grab cards like your copy of your dark contracts back out of the graveyard to be able to use them again, which is why I'm playing this card as a one of in this build. I'm then playing two copies of DD Orthos. This card is a great level four tuner monster and just a fantastic card over overall because it pops spells and traps because once per turn you can target a spell or trap card on the field and one other dd or dark contract card that you control and destroy them which is a pretty good effect to be able to pop cards on the field especially if you need to pop something like a mystic mind that your opponent has on the field i then play a single copy of savant thomas savant thomas is a really good one of the deck you only really need a single copy of this card it's a pretty neat pendulum effect that during your main phase you can add one face up dd pendulum monster from your extra back to your hand so that you don't have to pendulum summon them from the extract into monsters that link monsters point to into those zones but this card also has the ability that you can target one dd card in your other pendulum zone and destroy that card and if you do special summon one level eight ddd monster from your deck in defense system but for the rest of the turn its effects if any are negated and any battle damage your opponent takes becomes halved which is not that big of a deal because it just helps us get another monster on the field to make some really good plays and then play a single copy of oblivion king abyss ragnarok this card is a good one of in the deck and this card is just fantastic overall it has the ability that if you special summon a dd monster except during the damage step then you can target a dd monster in your graveyard and any battle damage your opponent takes is half for the rest of the turn also special summon that monster and if you do take a thousand points of damage which is an awesome effect to use on this card to use it basically as a monster reborn and then it has a really good monster effect that if this card is normal or special summon, then you can target a ddd monster in your graveyard and special summon it and you can only use the effect of this card once per turn and once per turn you can treat one 
other DD monster, then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it, which is a crazy a powerful effect. And then play a single copy of Go DDD Divine Zero King Rage. This card is really, really insane. It is a scale zero, which is really good to put this card in the pendulum zone to be able to go in for some really powerful pendulum summons, but it has a really good effect that if you would take effect damage, you no, no longer take effect damage. And if you normal summon one level five or higher DD monster, you can do it without tributing, which is a pretty good effect because we do play a couple of high level DD monsters in this deck. But it has some really powerful monster effects that when this card declares an attack, if your opponent's life points are 4,000 or less, you can make this card gain attack equal to your opponent's life points until the end of the turn. And it cannot be destroyed by battle, and also you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. And it also has the ability to contribute one of the monsters to apply one of these effects that this card can attack directly, which if your opponent's life points are 4,000 or less, and this card gains the attack equal to your opponent's life points, and you tribute a DD monster on the field, you can OTK or finish your opponent off with this card, which is really cool. It also has the ability that you, your opponent cannot activate cards in the spell and trap card zone, and your opponent cannot activate cards and effects in their hand or graveyard, which is a really good effect to pick between between those three really awesome effects. We then play three copies of a Swirl Slime. Swirl Slime is a really cool card in the deck because if this card is in your hand, you can fusion summon one DDD fusion monster from your extract using monsters from your hand as fusion material, including this card. You can also manage this card from your graveyard and then special summon, summon a DD monster from your hand. And you can only use each effect this card once per turn, but that is a really powerful effect. This card is basically a polymerization and you can manage it to special summon a DD monster from your hand. And then play a single copy of Necro Slime. Necro Slime is basically the miracle fusion of the deck because you can banish this card from your graveyard to fusion summon a ddd fusion monster from your extract by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from the graveyard including this card which is a pretty good effect to help you fusion summon i then play a single copy of dd vice typhon vice typhon is a good one of in the deck because when this card is normal summon you can treat a dd monster to special summon one level seven ddd monster from your deck which does work with your copy of vice requiem king which is a really awesome card to combo with this card just in case you want to summon it to the field. But the effect that we're usually going to use with this card is if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, then you can fusion summon a level eight or higher DDD fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from your graveyard, including this card, which will help you go into a bunch of different fusion plays. And then play a single copy of Lamia to round out the DDD monsters. And this card is really good because it's a level one tuner that can actually special summon itself to your side of the field. Because if this card's in your hand or grave, then you can send a DD monster or a dark contract card from your hand or face in the field of the graveyard, except another copy of this card to special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You really only need a single copy of this card to help you climb into some really powerful synchro plays, but it's a fantastic one of. So that's it for the DD monsters. Let's get into the tech monster cards that we're playing in the deck. So for the hand traps or tech monsters, we're going to be playing three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is just a fantastic hand trap overall to stop the opponent and just a really good card overall. And then we're playing three copies of DD Crow. It kind of works with the whole archetype, but it's not technically a DD monster. It's a different dimension monster. But this card is really good because it can banish cards from the opponent's graveyard. I kind of wanted to play Magnemut in this place with a copy of Druus Worm in place of the DD Crow, but I ended up just playing the three copies of DD Crow because there are a couple of cards in this deck that will stop you from summoning out your copy of Magnemut, which is why I just ended up with the three copies of DD Crow instead. But you can play Magnemut and Druus Worm instead of DD Crow if you want to, but you kind of got to watch out for certain cards that stop you from summoning anything but DD monsters. So that's it for the hand traps, guys, and the tech monsters. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of One for One. One for One is a really good one of in the deck that lets you special summon out a level one monster from the deck. So this card is just a really good one of in the deck. I play a single copy of Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is a fantastic one of to stop your opponent from hand trapping you. So I play this card as a one of in the bill. Playing a single copy of Dark Contract with Patent License. This card is just a really awesome card that if your opponent special summons a monster with the same card type, Fusion, Synchro, Exe, or Link as a DDD monster that you control, except during a damage step, then you can inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent. Also, while this card is on the field, your opponent cannot special summon monsters with the same type 
as that special summon monster for the rest of the turn. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, then you can add a DD monster from your graveyard or one face up DD pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, which is a pretty good effect. And then my second copy of Dark Contract with the Swamp King. This card is basically a polymerization, which is why I play it as a one of in the deck. And this card is just really good overall. And then play three copies of Dark Contract with the Gate. This is actually a searcher in the deck that during your main phase, you can add a DD monster from your deck to your hand. And you only use effect this card once per turn. And then once per turn, during your stamina phase, you take a thousand points of damage, just like your copy of Swamp King. But this card is a really good three on the deck just to search your cards. And then play three copies of map the map is really good in the deck because it helps you get to any of your monsters that have zero attack which we have a bunch of cards in this deck that have zero attack and as the ability at the start of your main phase one you get to add a monster with zero attack from your deck to your hand but half your life once after adding it to your hand and until the end phase of the next turn after the card was activated you cannot activate the added monsters effects or effects of cards with the same name until you normal summon that monster or a card with that name this card is really good to be able to search cards like kepler that you're already going to normal summon to the field to search out your copy of dark contract with the gate and it's just a fantastic card in the deck so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps so for the traps, we're going to be playing a single copy of Headhunt. Headhunt is a really good one of in the deck. And if you control a DDD monster, you can target one face-up monster that your opponent controls and take control of it until the end phase of the next turn. But it can't; its effects are negated and it cannot declare an attack. Also, treat it as a DDD monster. And you can only activate one of this card per turn. But this card is really awesome and just a fantastic card overall in the deck. And then play a single copy of Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness. This is a really really powerful floodgate in the deck because while you have two dd cards in your pinball zone your opponent cannot target monsters on the field with spell or trap effects and or tribute them for a tribute summon nor use them as material for a fusion synchro or a z play and then you take a thousand points of damage during your standby phase this card is really powerful and just locks down the opponent this card is a definite one of in the deck so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of Divisor King. Divisor King is a really good two on the deck. You really only need two copies of this card. It's really easy to make because you can exe summon this card using any DD monster that you control as a material, which makes it super easy to summon to the field. And it also has the ability that basically you, you can only control one of it and in your monster zone and then once per chain, when a monster card that your opponent controls activates its effect, quick effect, you can either detach two materials from this card or destroy one dark contract card that you control and if you do attach an opponent's card to this card as a material and then once per turn during your standby phase you can place this card in your pendulum zone which you're never going to activate we then play a single copy of wave king high caesar this card is a really good one of the deck because when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster quick effect detach from turn's card and negate the activation and if you do destroy that card then you can make one other dd monster that you control and this card gain 1800 attack attack until the end of the next turn and this card is sent from the field of the graveyard at a dark contract from your deck to your hand this card is a really powerful one of the deck and pretty easy to make with your copies of Genghis. we then play a single copy of marksman king tell marksman king tell is a really good one of the deck because if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard then you can add a dd or dark contract card from your deck or graveyard to your hand which is a really good effect to be able to just add those cards back and it's just a really or send excuse me a dd or dark contract card card from your deck to the graveyard which is a good effect to be able to just send them to the graveyard because you can make this card on top of your copy of wave king caesar because you make this card first and then you make your copy of marksman king and then you make a copy of your divisor which is a really awesome play in the deck and it's super easy to make a zeus with multiple materials speaking of zeus we play a single copy of divine arsenal double a zeus double a zeus is a really really awesome card in the deck just to board wipe the field and a fantastic one of in the deck and then play a single copy of cursed king siegfried cursed king siegfried is a good one of in the deck as well that during either player's turn you can target one face of spell or trap card on the field and the target has its effects negated until the next standby phase which is an awesome effect just to negate spells and traps play a single copy of barrel and de fleur because it's a walking negate and a fantastic card that we can summon really easily in this build and then play a single copy of psychic and punisher this card is fantastic in the deck with cards like map 
map that half our life points. And with all the dark contracts that make us pay a thousand life points, this card can get absolutely massive on the field. And it's just a really awesome boss monster because while your life points are less than or equal to your opponents, this synchro summon card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. And then once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points and then target one monster that you control and one card your opponent controls and banish them. And in the start of the battle phase, you can make this card gain attack equal the difference between your life points and your opponent's life points. And if you resolve a copy of map at 8,000 life points, you'll go down to 4,000. Then you use this card's effect and it'll go up to 7,500 if you're still 4,000 your opponents at 8,000, which is absolutely massive. We then play two copies of Flame King Gingas. Flame King Gingas is a really good two of in the deck. That if another DD monster is special summoned to your field, while you control this face-up card, then you can target a DD monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which is an awesome effect to be able to bring back a monster. And then play a single copy of High King Gingas. High King Gingas is a good one of in the deck as well, because if another DD monster is normal or special summoned to your side of the field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, then you can target a DD monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And this card is also a walking negate because once we turn when a spell or trap card or its effects is activated quick effects you can negate the activation we then play for the last three monsters we're going to be playing three copies of gilgamesh gilgamesh is insane and basically sets your scales which is super cool because if this card is special summon then you can activate the effect that you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except dd monsters also place two dd pendulum monsters with different names from your deck in your pendulum zone if you take a thousand points of damage that is an insanely powerful effect and one of the reasons i didn't play magnemut is because of this card but it's super good because it just throws your scales on the field which is why you play this card as a three up so this card is a definite three of in this build so that's it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it this deck is absolutely insane with all the combos that you can pull off with this particular build i absolutely love ddd because there's so many different plays that you can make with this deck and there's so many different combo lines that you can do which is super super cool and being able to summon everything but rituals in the entire game from all the different summoning mechanics is just absolutely insane. So, without further ado, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of notification squad, and definitely, definitely check out the Patreon down in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.